buyers as the sun's setting on another gorgeous day like we're coming into spring pretty soon you've got a nice uh, park over there for the kids they play sport on the weekend there that's really handy and then going down into here it goes straight into a, a court location uh, here and uh, Here's 365 Sherling Crescent. I can take you through and give you a bit of a look. It's a brick veneer home. Uh, it's in really uh, nice order uh, throughout. I'll take you through and give you a look. Uh, you've got the front landing just here and uh, you've got a double, a one and a half length carport under cover. It's about nine meters. I just paced that out just now. So uh, the tenant uh, that's in here now, it's just suggested that they can fit three cars uh, in along here comfortably. So buyers, come with me, I'll take you through this three bedroom home. It's, uh, it's uh, got quite a good sized living space in here too, as you can see. And then uh, turning around here, this is a second living area. So you've got sort of a more family room in here. If you were to upgrade the carpets at one stage, you would consider uh, some tiles and things like that going through there. So wandering through the big lounge room, you've got another formal dining uh, in here. Uh, and every, quite a lot of people actually use it for a study nook like they've got um, happening there. Then into the kitchen, you've got a sort of a, a timber kitchen in here. Good sized benches, electric cooktop and electric wall oven. Uh, not a bad size fridge to fit in that gap just there. And um, you've got a split system both in the family room just here and another one in the main bedroom which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, so down to the bedrooms, you've got uh, good sized bedrooms built-in robes, fans as well in here. So moving back down through uh, the home, the second bedroom. Once again, quite a good size uh, in there. Robes and fans. And the master bedroom, it's uh, like it's a king size room actually. Uh, so you've got the built-in robes and once again, fans. There's that other split system that I mentioned to you once before, just earlier. And then you've got uh, the ensuite in here too. So that's the ensuite. It's in not too bad an order actually. Quite a big shower recess in there. So the second toilet in the house just there. Moving back down, you've got a main bathroom just in here. Full bath, vanity, and the old WC in here. So you've got the toilet in there. And then beside that, you've got the laundry with direct access outside. Okay, buyers, I'll take you outside now. This uh, nice, secure private yard. Got beautiful camellia trees just here. Beautiful uh, flowers coming through as well. You've got a pergola here. It might need just a little bit of um, cutting back a little bit. You can make a barbecue area out of there. Uh, yeah, electric hot water service. That looks like it's a, ah, it says on the front there, 315 litre uh, electric hot water service. Uh, there's that air conditioner uh, just on here as well. So moving out to the back uh, out here Yeah, nice uh, nice yard. You've got all the oranges uh, Happening here as well in the yard. I'll take you for a walk around quite a nice uh, yard veggie garden just here as well Plenty of room for the kids swings. You've got two garden sheds. There's a garden shed down here on a concrete slab Then you've got another one just down here full garden shed. Uh, if it was me, I would probably want to remove that uh, later on down the track if you want to use those gates again and then that will grant you access right out to the back of this block here and then you could re-put really another garden shed down the back there somewhere or get rid of it altogether.